Hello and good morning, everyone. I am Andrew, and you're watching the YPTP Morning News Broadcast. I'm supposed to be here with my uh, colleague, but I have no clue where she is at the moment. Sorry, I'm late. I overslept. Again. What are we doing? You know what? Whatever. Let's, let's just move on. All right. Now, on to the weather. We have Chris Paul, and he's going to be talking to us about the weather today. Please take it away. Thank you, Andrew. So yes, this is Chris Paul coming to you live from outer space. And I'm gonna move out of the way just so you can see what's behind me. This, this is an asteroid, right? Asteroid, big space rock coming from space, like where I am, right? So pretend that this is the Earth. This is the Earth, right? This is an asteroid. And the asteroid comes down and when it hits the Earth, the Earth opens up, like, you know, a spider with, like, all the legs. It opens up, and it goes splat. Splat. It goes splat. We're done. There's no more Earth. Thank you, Andrew. All right. I thought that we were going to be talking about the weather, but I guess that we're talking about annihilation instead. Dude, it's, we're fine. All right, so while we get everybody in the studio to calm down for a second, I'm gonna ask that you sit through a short, a short commercial break. This live stream is sponsored by Metal Straws. Turtles, we gotta save them. All right, and we're back. And hopefully we're all calmed down now. And up next, we have an inanimate object review. Inanimate object? Do you mean like a dog? A dog is a dog is a living animal, so I don't think it's inanimate. But take it away, Hortense Darbus. Hello, Mike. Thank you, guys. Today I've got with me Miss Dress. Do you like being worn? Um, I really miss my job. Thank you. Well, what size are you? Don't ask the ladies their size. Oh my god. Well, that's perfect. That's all. Thank you guys for coming today. Bye. That's great. Huh, I did not know that dresses could talk, but all right. You didn't know that? All dresses talk. I've, okay, well, I do wear wonderful suits like this one, so I don't normally wear dresses. But now on to our next order of business. We have a master chef that has agreed to speak to us from all the way from the country of France. Did you know that turning a baguette upside down is considered unlucky in France? Uh, I, no, I did not. It's true. <laughs> I wouldn't try it. All right, I will. I won't. I won't do that because I don't think I'll have a baguette anytime here. What is happening? Oh, this is the morning news broadcast you agreed to come on to, the YPTP morning news broadcast. I just remember. I just that. I mean, you're getting interviewed. So can you? Oh, so yeah, I'm making a croissant. A croissant? What's that? It looks like croissant. The moon? You're making the moon? Oh my god! No, I'm not making the moon. But you, you just I'm making the moon. You just said you're making the moon. <laughs> he just said he was making. The no, he didn't. He said, he said he was making something in the shape of the moon. Which means he was making the moon. <sighs> All right, let's move on. We have a social influencer who would like to speak to us about influencing society. So take it away. Okay, so hi everyone. I just wanted to tell you all that 
I just wanted to say that I'm a little sick, so just, so just all send your best regards to me because, you know, I might die. But anyway, so first I have my fancy paper towels. Now, these are the best paper towels ever. Sometimes I love to wear them, which I don't think any of you guys do because it's like so fancy. And yeah, they clean up better than anyone of the off-brand ones. So get the fancy paper towels. Okay, and now I'm looking at my dictionary. Here I have my big fat dictionary. It's my favorite because one, it's not one of those like kids dictionaries with pictures. And whenever my friends come over, they like seeing all of this all the time because they all say, oh my God, you're so smart. And I agree because I never read this, but it's different for de decoration. That was fun. All right, uh, thank you for that. I, what are you wearing? It's a napkin necklace. I've worn them every day for years, but they just started becoming popular. Thank you, we've been working together for three years. I have never seen that before. I wear these every day. You must be, you probably just haven't seen talent. Okay, well, whatever. You do you. I will. All right, now to actually, we have a quite an interesting report to come up on to. It's a report about a supposed break-in at a Lunkin' Dunk Dunkin' Donuts. Please, Ira, take it away. Not Dunkin Why, Donuts. thank you, Andrew. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ira, your news reporter for the day. We're here at Dunkin' Donuts, where a crime was reported. I'm with two key witnesses. So, ladies, please dump us your name. Jacqueline. Jigglypuff. Interesting names. So, first question. What flavor were the stolen donuts? Oh, they weren't a certain flavor. They were all of them. Every last one of them. This person will pay with their life. <clears throat> I mean, how horrible. Next question. What were you doing before it happened? I was ordering my favorite donut. I was eating the bathroom. Were there any clues as to what happened? 